what is up and welcome to this segment on my channel where i am taking you guys along with me through the journey of trying to find my first property um, more specifically my first duplex and i recently went to go see property number two so let's talk about it all right, first thing I wanna discuss is the side that I would be living in if I did decide to go with this property. And I will say this is the one that I was really excited to go see based on the pictures. And honestly, it did live up to the hype. I am someone I really, really want like an older built property, a property that's not built in the 2000s because I just like that old style that they have to them. What is it called? Like when you're watching HGTV and then you hear someone say they want this type of property and you're kind of like uh, plantation style homes or Victorian style homes. I just find that in my opinion it just seems that they have better bones and they're not so cheaply made and they also have more sunlight which is what really sold me on this property it has big beautiful windows all around so it gets lots of natural sunlight you guys know i live in a dungeon my apartment literally has like one window for the whole living room and the whole kitchen so it's just always dark in here it's always cold in here my babies are dying over here my plant babies and so i really really wanted a place that had lots of windows and this place had it the road closed ahead. I think we turned the wrong way. Wow. Can that house look be big? Okay. You're supposed to be doing this. Come on. The furniture. The furniture what? Yeah. They use the word convey. Uh -huh. But it'll stay with the property. I mean, with the owner. With, with the property. Yeah. Oh, with the property. Like if you would have purchased it. Oh, it would be ours. Yes. Oh. See, I need to see Now a little bit of information about the property. It is located across the street from a hospital and it is actually right there by the highway. So it's easy access to the highway and it's easy access to the hospital and it is really close to um, fast food and just restaurants and I'm not quite sure where the nearest grocery store would be but I know that it has a really really good school district which would make this I think a really profitable investment if I did decide to go with it because it's in a good area the schools are really good and hopefully they have a grocery store close by but as you can see it has wood looking floors last time I did say hardwood floors and someone did tell me that they were vinyl um, I'll be completely honest I'm a first-time home buyer I do not know everything I've already told y'all do not ask me any questions because I do not know I am literally showing you guys as I am learning um, and I don't care to play like I know it all I don't know I don't know but if it looks like wood, I'm going to call it wood. So I apologize if it's not real hardwood, but it kind of looked like real hardwood. It didn't look like the, you know, the thing that peels off, but it could be some type of alternative to real hardwood, but it still does not have carpet, which I really, really like because I would prefer a property with no carpet. I just don't think that the maintenance on it would be that much. I don't have to worry about a lot of foot traffic and, and you know, dirty carpets. I have 
a dirty carpet phobia and so it just works for me i did make sure to check everything i'm like knocking on the walls tapping on the floors just to really check the foundation as best as i know how and to make sure it's not like you know a diy fixer upper type of job that i would have to go in and redo because maybe it wasn't done properly so like i checked the baseboards and everything everything looked really good the paint whoever did the paint job it was really good so it wasn't like you know sloppily done um and then the kitchen was properly done as well now one thing i did not like about the kitchen was that it had the hot i think it's the hot water tank right by the stove and there's also an area that's not closed off from the washer and dryer so basically the washer and dryer is in the kitchen which is kind of odd but the kitchen you would have to go through the dining area the living room area and then straight to the back so i don't know why anyone would really go back there so that did not bother me very much now on both sides of the duplex it's a two bedroom one bath i did not want to go any less than two bathrooms but I'm finding that a lot of the properties that I'm seeing only has one bathroom for some reason and I'm fine with that because my kids always use my bathroom. They never use theirs so it wouldn't really be an adjustment if I go with this property. But it was quite small and there weren't any windows but it, it looked okay. It was okay. It was a bathroom. It'll do. And the bedrooms have big beautiful windows. Hmm. Michaela, I haven't, I'm sure people are going to be putting in offers. That doesn't mean you're going to get it, sister. This is, this is not small. It is small. Dang, my closet is bigger than this. <laughs> but it's not as small. Open the blind so I can see what it looks like. I did notice on this side of the duplex, the bedrooms are smaller, but it's like the windows kind of make up for it. But one thing that will absolutely have to be done is to increase the closet space. There literally is not any closet space. And so, I mean, I guess a workaround would be dressers, but I know when I eventually go to rent out this side, if I go with this property, I am going to have to do some work to expand the closet and my thinking on that was with the dining room area when you first walk in it's pretty much another bedroom it's a really big area and I don't understand why they didn't knock the wall down to make more space for the bedrooms and the closets so that would definitely be something that I would look into doing in the future but obviously I would give my kids the larger room and then the smaller room would be mine can you open the blinds to see what because I, I like to see what it looks like This is small, Michaela. And I like this room. But you have, I don't know, that's small. That's what Yeah, can you open that one so I, I can see? Oh. No, baby, we're just looking. I like, I mean, I, I love all the windows. Okay. All right, now let's get into the second unit. So this would be the unit that I would rent out. And right now as it stands, the furniture would stay with the property. So if I were to purchase the property, all of the furniture on both sides would be mine. Um, at first, I was a little worried because the living room is very, very tiny. Like it's very, very small. Yeah, this is that's where the other people would live. It's just a bit smaller, I think. Go. Come on, Mookie. Oh, Lord. That would be 
but it, it's a good space and decorated it looks it looks good then you turn into the kitchen which I do not like now there aren't any windows in the living room so it was really dark which had me a little worried but the way that the door is it has it's not technically a screen door but you could leave the door open and just have that black screen there which would bring in more light and they also had really bright light bulbs above us so uh, I would probably want to knock out a piece of the wall and get a window eventually for that person that's going to be living there but there's a huge window in the kitchen that kind of makes up for it Yeah, that would bring in good light for them. It would just maybe be a person who wants, um, they have beds. Yeah, they have bedrooms, baby. I w did not love the kitchen, which is why I would want to live on the other side because it just, it just, it looks odd. There's literally a washer right by the stove and then the dryer is right behind you if you're standing facing the washer. And then there's no room for like a, a table or anything. So they had a small little table with two chairs and a microwave. The way I'm thinking is if it's like a traveling nurse or someone um, that would rent out for me, that may work. But as far as like a family, I would just kind of find that a little odd. So I would eventually want to get to a place where I could figure out how they could rewire or whatever so that the washer and dryer could have um, its own area. But the pantry size was really good. Now, as we are walking past the kitchen, I will say me and my realtor kind of looked surprised because we didn't expect this unit to have so much space, to be as big as it is. So when you walk past the kitchen through the hallway, it's really spacious like these rooms are really really big it has nice windows with natural sunlight here i am going talking about the sunlight again um the closets are still really tiny it's definitely got more i told you their rooms were bigger in this one the closet can't be open that closet can't be opened Why? because that vent's in the way. That would have to be. So you think this side got more room? Yeah, this side definitely. I say the the um the rooms are more spacious, but that kind of worries me. What does this mean? Yeah, I, I prefer to this a little kind of right here. One of the closets would not open at all because the air vent on the floor, the way that it was leveled, it wouldn't let it open. Let's see. Oh my gosh. You can't even open this. Wow. Okay. And then they have one bathroom as well and that was pretty spacious. So once you make it past the kitchen, that's where all of the space is. But all in all, it's a really, really, really nice duplex. But of course, there are some concerns. So as we are walking, you could kind of feel that you were going up kind of like an incline and then you would drop and then you go up and then you would kind of drop. And as you're like pressing your feet into the wooden planks or whatever they are, it's not level. Some of it's going, uh, it's moving and I don't think it should be doing that. So it may be some foundation issues with that side and also looking at the wall because I am looking at literally everything. My worst fear is getting into a property and then I find out that 
I need it needs more work than I was expecting and that cost me more money so you can kind of see they cut out drywall or, or something's going on with the foundation so I would definitely want that fixed before I even rented out that side and I'm really really excited to be a landlord because I just feel like I want to move with integrity and I have to stick to my morals I cannot let somebody rent out this side and you know it, it feels like the floor is you're going to go straight through the floor because something under there is not supporting that wood so that has to be fixed no matter what no matter what it costs before i feel comfortable allowing someone to live there so that does bring me to the price of this thing all together the duplex is about 1800 square feet and i think that the lot is 6500 a little over 6500 square feet so it it's it, it's spacious when you get in there it is it is spacious um but they do want two hundred and eighty thousand dollars for this thing and that made my stomach turn because i am not used to seeing six figures attached to my name let alone going close to three hundred thousand and so it just freaked me the hell out because i'm like what if what if this happens what if this happens can i really do that what am i doing i'm way over my head i can't do this i can't do this but my lender and everyone else has more faith in me than me i know i can do it um I have the ability to make the mortgage because your girl is crunching numbers all the time, but it's just scary to me. So um, I had to really sit down and pray just figuring out if I wanted to make the offer. Today, I put in an offer um, and last night um, I went to bed like crying out to God, like pleading, praying, because I once again felt like this huge ball of anxiety and the what if started to pop up. Like, what if something happens? What if I'm not able to afford it? How am I getting this extra money when I know that I make extra money? Like you've proven to yourself that you can do certain things, but then when the opportunity presents itself, you kind of like, um, self-sabotage because it's new it's scary and I'm just wanting to feel every single emotion I just let the emotion come so I could sit in it and then just wait and until it passes honestly um, the fake positivity doesn't really work for me especially when you're putting six figures to your name and I also had to release ego um, because I've been debt free for like two years and I'm no longer going to be able to say I'm, I'm debt free, you know, but this is extremely scary for me. I still feel like I want to vomit. Um, literally just submitted the offer to the leasing agent, um, like 10 minutes ago. So one thing that I have told myself during this whole process is that what is for me, what God has for me is for me and I want it nothing more nothing less so if I don't get it then it's just not for me and uh, we're just gonna keep looking at other properties so as you can see I did make an offer it was not 280,000 but I did take into consideration the area um, how much it was being rented out for for the Airbnb as well as things that would need to be um, fixed all areas of concern went into the offer price so right now we are still waiting to hear back from the buyer if he's going to accept or decline i'm not really putting my heart into the process yes i do love this property it's amazing you guys know i've been talking about a place with big windows for a very long time and that I wanted a place that was like kind of downtown and had that that old rustic feel but if this is not for me it's not for me and we will keep rolling along and I will keep taking you guys along the journey with me so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video send up good vibes for me and I will catch you all in the next one <laughs>